Greetings everyone and welcome to another moveset with commentary. Today we have number 44 which is Cao Ren. So let's look at what he can do. Square in air. Right and triangle. Okay. So square string. Really fast for you know this heavily armored guy you would expect something really you know sluggish but no he's actually he's very fast um, so this is dashing square really good really good and yeah together you have this so yeah square string is definitely one of the highlights of uh, Cao Ren okay so uh, now let's begin with the specials. So triangle I call Eye of the Storm. And this, my friends, this lasts for fucking ever. And it does, you know, it stuns the enemy. It's, it's really good. It's a very, very good attack. And very flashy. And I gotta say, one of the, one of the prettiest attacks in the entire game. I, I really love this one. I remember that when I first play, played as Tsaoren, I was like, eh, I don't like this guy, you know, heavily armored, kind of older dude. But, oh boy, when I first did this, I was like, okay, I just changed my mind. <laughs> okay, so uh, first special is his first X and I call it Spin Driver. So yeah, without the X, just boring launcher. Even though I like how he draws his blade from the shield, it's actually a kind of interesting weapon. Um, so his second special I call Blade Shooter. Very nice attack, very nice. Um, now his third special is his second X and I call it Absolute Protection. Okay, and without the X. Still decent attack, definitely. Alright, so his fourth special I call Earth Strike. And uh, it's, it's okay, mediocre. And his fifth special I call Grave Digger. So yeah, the 5th and 4th specials are kinda the same, which yeah, is one of his downfalls, but still, uh, he, he's quite high in my list. Um, so, weapon transition, right? Okay, pretty aggressive. Now then, horse string. And special. Alright, that, that was actually... Kinda interesting. So now let's look at his Storm Rush. So there you have the Storm Rush. And there's the Storm Rush in action. Bam. Okay, so there's the weapon. Um, counter, sorry, counter. So it's time for his Muso attacks. Um, so Tsaren's first Muso is called Charging Bull. Alright, uh, now his R1 Muso is called the Surprise Assault. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a grab. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a grab. And yeah. Will will demonstrate it on the enemy, even though I think that he does the same thing. It's just that he drives his blade through an enemy. But yeah, well, let's not be lazy. I'll show it. <laughs> all right, all right. Sh 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 shut up, Jobu. Now then. Yeah, it's basically the same. You just can see now what it does with the enemy. Oh, Kidoki and his aerial muso is called the Mountain Gorge. All right, 
Yeah, that was okay. So it's time for his rage art. And again, kind of faster than you would expect from this heavily armored dude. Very aggressive finisher. Very aggressive. Okay, let's go. Oh man, that's crazy. That's just crazy. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it, it's Tsao Ren, um, in all his awesomeness, um, yeah, I, I gotta say, uh, his gameplay is really super enjoyable, very, very fun and totally something that I would not expect from a guy like him, you know, like, he really, he really does not look like much to me. I mean, I, I don't really like these type of characters, you know, too too much armor, too bulky, um, and in his, um, you know, 30s, 40s, yeah, those characters are not really for me, but man, Sauron and his gameplay, it's, it's just amazing, really, it is, like, uh, I, I have basically no complaints, uh, besides, you know, besides that uh, fourth and fifth special, he is really just amazing, totally, like, so, yeah, probably let's, let's go uh, to the history department, right, shall we? Uh, I don't think that I wanted to show anything else, so, yeah, let's go. So, Cao Ren, uh, a general of Wei and Cao Cao's cousin, uh, Cao Ren excelled in all the martial arts, included archery and horsemanship. At the Battle of Chebi, uh, he defended Jing. Under Cao Pei, he held the rank of Lord Grand Marshal. So, nothing much to say about this guy, probably great general, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, what what more to say about him? Uh, Stylish-wise, he's totally not my style. Um, Character-wise, he's quite boring for me. But man, his gameplay is is really sweet. So yeah, there you have it, sir. And your 44th spot is definitely you know well earned. So yeah, no bias here from me. I mean. Yeah, I'm a little bit biased against him, but uh, no, I don't think that he should be any higher. Maybe like one or two spots, but no, 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 no. no. So yeah, that, that's so Ren. Tell me what do you think, guys? And uh, that'll be probably it from me. Uh, I know that this video was kind of boring, but yeah, so Ren, besides his gameplay, is a boring character for me. So yeah, I, I can't say much about him. Okay, so. Uh, the only thing that I can say about him is that now in Dynasty Warriors 9 his, he is even more <laughs> boring because I don't know at least in this game he was like this you know almost mecha guy you know very heavily armored in Dynasty Warriors 9 he almost looked like I don't know standard general you know standard officer so yeah that, that's that tell me what do you think about his new design and yeah I'll see you guys next time so farewell